Hello everyone. I'm going to be putting up Todd Browning's Freaks on my movie channel. But I wanted to talk about it a little bit before I put it up. Uh, I will put the link to my movie channel below and I have downloaded it. I have not uploaded it yet because I wanted to do a quick video on it to explain it. This movie was and still is very controversial. It was banned in many, many places once it was made, and it really hurt Todd Browning's career. The It centers around, I should say, a group of circus performers, circus freaks. And the people who are starring in the movie are real freaks. Now, I know you may not like that term, but... They didn't, well, they didn't like it themselves when outsiders used it. But amongst themselves, it was different. Going back quite a ways, the sideshow was a normal part of every circus. I actually remember being very small, possibly five years old, and going to a circus and seeing that they still had a sideshow. So this would have been the mid 1950s. And my dad wouldn't let me go anywhere near it. Later when I got older, I grew up in Long Beach, California, and down at the Pike, or New Pike as they call it, which was a place where, you know, we had all sorts of different games and uh, rides and the uh, great roller coaster and tattoo parlors where sailors would get drunk and get tattoos, and sometimes that was the most fun thing to watch. But they actually had a sideshow exhibit with... Uh, um, some of the old, you know, sideshow performers in it. Now this this one was a little bit different because the sideshows were were made up not only of people who were physically different, but also people who took on, um, developed certain acts or took on certain physical differences, you know, artificial ones to promote themselves. So the show that I went to see had. Uh, the sword swallower, the guy who lay on a bed of nails, the woman who had the giant anaconda wrapped around her, the fat lady, and but it also had some of the old exhibits that you used to walk through to see, like the the Siamese twin fetuses in the jar and things like that. Uh, and you, if you paid a little extra money, you go into this room where you could see a woman who had no head but was alive. Of course, it was a fake. But it was still, ooh, really cool. You know, people knew it was a fake going in, but it was the ooh factor that people went for. But yeah, so back in the day, people would pay extra money to go and stare at people who were physically deformed, physically different. And that's kind of creepy crawly to me today to think of it and uh, to, to isolate people like that just because they were different. Nevertheless, from their point of view, this wasn't such a bad thing. Because these are people who would be hidden away or stared at or even cursed at because they, people thought that people who were deformed had the evil eye. But altogether, in the circus, they had a family. They, they supported each other. They looked after each other. And they fell in love. There are actually a couple of very classic cases. The um, the monkey girl who fell in love with the alligator man. And at first he was totally in love with her, but he was very shy. And she was a star performer and he wasn't. He had a skin condition that caused his skin to be very hard. And it looked sort of reptilish. But then his skin condition got worse and he was really excited because he, he moved up to a, a to a higher ranking in the performance uh, hierarchy and felt that well, maybe she'd like him. Well, she did, and they got married. And I actually saw an interview with them when they were both in about their 80s. So that was a long-lasting marriage. And then there was the human skeleton. This was a very charming story, and I actually saw a... Uh, a um, documentary about freaks 
in which they, well, they couldn't have the original people because they are long gone, but they had people standing in for them, dancing together. Because you see, the human skeleton, again, he had uh, some kind of condition, I don't know what. He weighed all of 58 pounds. And he's in the movie Freaks, and he plays the bearded lady's husband. But in real life, he was married to the fat lady, 467-pound woman. And from what I understand, this was a real love match. See, in the regular world, and even today, people would stare and make fun of a woman who weighed 467 pounds. But in the circus sideshow, she was just one of them. And... The skeleton man, the living skeleton, again, who'd look at him twice in the real world? But in the in the carnival, in the sideshow, in the circus, he was part of a family. Now, the movie Freaks shows a lot of sideshow performers. And these are people who look different. And this is one of the reasons it's been so controversial, partly because people honestly didn't want to look at people like this. It was okay if you had to pay your extra money and stare at them, you know, in, in private and make fun of them. But to actually have them on, on your, your movie screen where you had to acknowledge their existence was, well, people didn't like that. The other thing was, of course, people said that Browning was exploiting them. But these People, for the most part, were adults. They knew exactly what was going on. Many of them were very bright. Jojo, the dog-faced boy, who was not in the movie, was a genius. Um, and they knew what was going on. Uh, some of them were mentally disabled. You'll see the... It's a, they called the bird woman or the bird girl here. And you'll actually see some real pinheads. And uh, it was Schlitzy is her name. And these were people who were mentally disabled as well. Nevertheless, they again, they found a home in the, the freak show, in the carnival, in the circus. In real life, they'd have been locked away in some horrific institution somewhere. Here, they were loved and cared for. Um, but yeah, so the excuse was used that Browning was exploiting these people. But I often think, again, it was more because this movie made people uncomfortable, made them look at themselves. As you see, the bottom line in the movie is that the monsters are the normal people. The freaks are loving and kind. But I wanted to just talk about it ahead of time so that you know what you're going to see. And I really think that people should see watch this movie at least once in their life, no matter how uncomfortable it makes them. Because I think it makes us face some of our own prejudices. Anyway, thank you very much. Bye.